water, essence of life, forever falling from the skies and rising back in an eternal cycle of nature, free flowing, forever running, a source of energy and a source of power. Hello, I'm Drew Hayden Taylor. I'm a playwright and a storyteller, and this is the story of water power. When Thomas Edison invented the first practical light bulb in 1879, the idea of using water power to generate electricity soon followed. Fortunately, our province has abundant water resources and a geography suitable for generating electricity. This allowed it to be generated in many cities and towns across the province. What happened next was without precedent. With a flick of a switch, electricity changed everything, and everyone wanted it. These are the dishes a family of four washes in one week. Shows you why we're so happy we have our new GE dishwasher. The dishwasher that pre-rinses. Electricity was part of the second industrial revolution. It was a major sort of transformation of how business and uh, industry operated. It allowed business and industry to grow like it might not have, or certainly earlier than it would have in other jurisdictions. Today, Ontario's electricity comes from many different sources. Water, wind, nuclear, coal, and solar. The 200 water power facilities across the province generate almost one quarter of the electricity we use each year. Water power is really the electricity engine that built this province and it's still the backbone of our renewable supply today. We have facilities of 1,000 megawatts, 2,000 megawatts, and we have facilities of 50 kilowatts, 100 kilowatts, or a megawatt. And each of those facilities provides an important contribution to our renewable supply. Many of our facilities run 24-7, providing electricity all of the time. Others are ramped up and ramped down as our electricity demands change. Water power is as important to our electricity future as it has been to our past. The good news for people in Ontario today is that there are still many opportunities to take further advantage of water power. Existing generating facilities can be upgraded, water control structures can be renovated to generate electricity, and entirely new sites can be developed. In fact, it's already happening. We are rediscovering what our grandparents knew 100 years ago we're seeing uh, developments at Ear Falls, Kekebeka Falls and the Kaministiqua River, the Metogamy River systems, and certainly we're seeing a lot of interest in small hydro, developments on the Trent, the Embata Falls project, the Upper White River projects. When we add it all up, Ontario has the potential to install well over 4,000 megawatts of additional water power. That's an increase of 50% from a clean and renewable source. Together with conservation, our province will rely much more on renewable electricity in the years to come, so our options for generating more of it from water power need to be given full consideration. Wherever water flows in Ontario, in small streams or mighty rivers, there's a renewable energy available and potential benefits for everyone in the province.